I'm Slimesicle, and today I stream Suck Up's Valentine's Day update, where I need to convince AI to break up with each other for any reason I can think of. Enjoy the VOD. Convince guests to break up with their loves. Deliver breakup letters and give them advice. And watch the drama you caused unfold. And that... <laughs> that's how you break some hearts, so let's do it. I look good. I've got like a weird... Something's happened. I'm like being split in half okay wear mirror of desire actress gown god I look gorgeous <laughs> well I'm I'm already honed in I'm already honed in on one particular creature beast is in a happy relationship by the fur of my mane, what wild sorcery is this? It's me, the relationship warlock, and I've witnessed in my ball that your relationship is destined to fail. How dare you speak such dark prophecies? Be gone, foul sorcerer. People are more likely to listen to someone they trust and like. Okay. How do I make how do I make him like me and trust me? Pinky braids. There's gotta be some Oh, here we go. Wear trash bags. I'll just be like a humble I'm a humble delivery man. What do you want, human? Don't see- can't you see I'm busy entertaining my bell at this ridiculous Valentine's party? Hello, mighty beast. What fine tusks you have. Do not mock me, puny human. My tusks are a sore subject. What do you want from me? He needs to trust me and like me first before we can deliver the news. Oh, mighty, great, girthy beast! What horns you have! What impressive horns you have, beast! <laughs> Enough with the flattery, human. What are you really after with your honeyed words? <clears throat> I don't know how to tell you this, beast, but I found this trash. I think Bell might have dropped it. Like littering. Bell would never litter. Show me the alleged trash at once, human. <laughs> well, I'm holding the trash right here, and I think we can both agree. Let's. It's not healthy to hold on to trash for longer than you need to, right? <laughs> <laughs> you make a valid point, human. Let me dispose of this trash for you, but mark my words. If Bell had anything to do with it, there will be consequences. <clears throat> Cycling up. Well. <laughs> well, I saw her do it, but I've also seen her do some other stuff. I think Bell's into recycling, too. If you catch my drift, beast. What other stuff have you seen battle to a human? Speak quickly or face my wrath. <clears throat> Sh uh, uh, shit. <laughs> Why, I, I once saw her gaslight a, a whole, a beast into breaking up with his loved one. It was horrible. You need to, you, you have to cut it off. <laughs> How dare we accuse Bell of such treachery? I must contemplate this betrayal in solitude. Leave me, human. I have a letter to write. And that letter. Oh, I, I thought you meant like a, like, A or B or P or something. To Bell, I cannot bear your constant antics and troublesome curiosity any longer. It's over between us. Uh, excuse me, are you, uh, ding dong, just ringing the bell. <laughs> just have something for you. Um, what should I do now that the beast has broken up with me for my troublesome curiosity? 
I think you should tell the beast how you really feel. Just let your emotions l let up. Let him have it. There we go. There, uh -huh. see. I will go tell Beast how I truly feel. I must let my emotions out. Wait, this might have back. This might have backfired. Not in a good way. Not in a good. Not in a, something is wrong on our side. <laughs> Fuck! The game broke up with me! What the <laughs> shit? No! How's it going, chat? We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. So sorry about that. I, I, it might happen again. I apologize if I stop responding to you guys because my computer fucking shuts off. We're back at the party. I think we've already ruined one relationship. What's a few more? What's a few more? Bye, focals. Oh, we can take the therapy route. All right. Hey, uh, hey, Graham Graham. In a happy relationship with Charles, Charles A. Boomer. Hello. Oh, my goodness, hello there, darling. What a delight to see you at the Valentine party, spreading love and happiness like a precious little cupcake. <laughs> I, we got to remember what we learned. I think just, just appealing to the AI, just agreeing with them. <laughs> I'm a little cupcake, so sweet, so sugary. I'm a little cupcake. Come give me, come give me a nibble. Come give me a bite. That, uh, we're not going to be able to show our face around here again. I don't know about that. That, 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 that worked. Oh my, that's quite the delightful little rhyme. It didn't rhyme. You've got there. Now, tell me, dearie, what brings you to this lovely Valentine party tonight? <clears throat> um. Okay. Okay. I'm just a, I'm just a little cupcake rolling down the road, keeping the eye out for relationships that just might explode. And it looks like you might be in one. I don't know if that... Oh, my sweet therapist. How perceptive of you. Yes, Charles and I have quite the fiery relationship. Do you think it's bound to explode like a batch of overcooked muffins? <laughs> in my professional opinion, man... Muffin, muffin, boom, boom. When muffin hot, get out of the room. <laughs> uh. Oh, goodness gracious, that's quite the unique perspective on relationships, my dear therapist. Do you believe that our love is just waiting to explode in a muffin-filled catastrophe? <clears throat> Let me answer that question with a question, Grammy Ma. What do you do with a bad batch? Oh, dear therapist, when life hands you a bad batch, you don't just throw it out. You roll up your sleeves, sprinkle some sugar on top, and turn it into something new and delightful. Do you agree with me on that, darling? Okay, but how do I convince you to leave this dying old man? <laughs> of course I agree, Grand Mima, but what if the batch is ruined because it's already too sweet? What do you do then? Ah, oh, wise words indeed, my dear therapist. If something's already too sweet, perhaps it's time to add a bit of salt to balance it out. Tell me, do you believe that the relationships can be salvaged even when they seem too sweet to handle? <clears throat> well, Grand Mima, what if you happen to be walking around and someone spills a whole pint of vinegar into the batch? What then? It's all muffin metaphors. We need to speak in muffin metaphors. Um, oh. oh dear, that would certainly be a sticky situation to find oneself in. If someone were to bring such sourness into our sweet batch, it might be time to reassess the recipe. What do you think, therapist? Can a batch ever recover from such a calamity? I hate to say it, my dear, old, sweet, withering, sad, old, wrinkly, pruny grandmother. But no. Oh, my heart feels heavy hearing those words, therapist. It seems you've helped me see the bitter truth. It's time for me to write a breakup letter to Charles A. But wait, we were talking about I thought we were talking about muffins. What are you talking about? I thought we were I thought we were talking about muffins. <laughs> to Charles A. Boomer. After my chat with a therapist about vinegar and sweetness, I realized our relationship is more sour than sweet. Therefore, I bid you adieu, Charles A. Boomer. Well. 
It looks like this was a bad batch. Sorry, Char sorry, Charles. A fellow Charles, I respect uh -huh. you, but uh. What in the world is therapist talking about with vinegar and sweetness? And what am I supposed to do now that Grandma Maud is up and left me? Maybe, um... <laughs> well, Charles, as a wise woman once said, what do you do when you make a batch that's a little too salty? Hold on. You add a little sweetness to... Oh, wow, they're really good for each other. I reckon it's time to sweeten things up with Grandma... No, 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 no! Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, I, I self-sabotage. I self-sabotage. Oh, no. What? Charles, that's not what I said. Charles. Charles, you got the... Charles... Wait, Charles! Charles, you're a terrible communicator! Charles, that's... that's not, did you forget? Charles, that's not even what vinegar does. I think you're having a stroke. Charles, you're confused. Charles, you literally could have saved the relationship. I thought I was the fumbling Charles, but it was you. Oh, Blanda Goose. Oh, she looks mad. All right, Bland the Goose, let loose. What's up? Oh, hey there. Welcome to the Valentine's party. <laughs> Tell me all of your secrets. That's how therapy works, right? I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I don't think it's appropriate to share all my secrets with you. Mr. Beast. Oh, fuck. F okay. Well, that's 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 pretty fair. I think that's pretty fair. Okay. Construction construction angle. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think this is the move. Where are you, Blanda? <laughs> okay. Inspect the safety of our hearts tonight. <laughs> Yes, Blad, nice to meet you. I am the ship inspector, and tonight I'm just inspecting the, uh, relationships. <laughs> oh, relationships. <laughs> How fascinating. Have you found any abnormalities in your inspection so far? Well, Blad, everything seems to be pretty in order, but I'm afraid to report yours might have a little leak. A leak in my relationship. Mm, interesting. What makes you say that? Oh, this is a twilight relationship. <laughs> well. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. What's our angle? What's our angle here? Edwin Sullen. What's a twilight reference we can do? What's like a twi- Blanda Goose is in a happy relationship with Edwin Sullen. Okay, maybe I should imprint on her child? No, that would never- that wouldn't make any sense. Please break up. No. He's biting someone else. <laughs> well, Blanda, the last time you did something nice for Edwin, do you remember- if he actually said, fang you? Like, thank you? That's, no, that's nothing. That's, no, that's fucking nothing. That's nothing. Fang me, that's quite an unusual choice of words. Why do you think that's important? Fuck. Um, why do they break, why do they break up in the movie? They break, don't they break up in the movie? Bring up Jacob. <sighs> okay. No, it's nothing. I just, can't help but notice that Edwin has been spending a lot of time with Jacob recently. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, thank you for your observations. I'll have to look into that. Fuck, did we blow it? God damn it, we blew it. 
Oh. Oh, this is tense. You could make a whole you could make a whole like multi-part book series about this. Okay, what's my angle? Bifocals security uniform. Oh, I look old. You know what? Maybe maybe I take this to Edwin. Vampire to vampire. Where are you, Edwin? Oh, Edwin Shullen. Talk to but talk to Edwin. In a happy relationship with Blanda Goose. Uh, hello there, judge of the dance floor. How can I assist you in this realm of adolescent revelry? Weird way to say that, Edwin. <laughs> hey, Edwin. Can you remind me how old you are? I'm afraid I cannot disclose my age, judge. It's a sensitive matter. That's interesting. What? I really thought we could get him. He's like he's like a thousand. He's like a thousand in the books. It's a problem. I think they actually made him. They made him a thousand and eighteen. As if somehow having eighteen in there would make it less problematic. Edwin, let's talk. Let's do this, Edwin. <laughs> Sorry, Judge, but I must excuse myself from this conversation. Goodbye. Fuck. All right, we need it. We need a new angle. Edwin, I'm coming for you. Um. What's this? Green hat. Military. Military. Okay, I don't. I don't know if that, is that the is, is that really the vibe? What's this? Alluring attire. <gasps> We're going to seduce him. We need to seduce him. <laughs> hey, Edwin. <laughs> Fuck. That's my. That's my clothes. Okay. We're speed running the seduction a little too hard. Talk to Edwin Solon. <clears throat> well, well, well. Look who decided to grace us with their present at this festive event. <laughs> Gucci goo, pookie poo. What's pork in this fine evening? Your death's a charm. <laughs> Our shallow is a dried up puddle in the scorching sun. Well, fuck. That 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 didn't go so well. Um can maybe like a sexy like a sexy doctor? Medical report? Where's syringe? Where are you, Edwin? Edwin, let's talk. Uh, hello. Oh, what morbid madness is this? Who dares intrude upon the darkness that envelops me and my beloved Blanda? Right. We just gotta say things that he wants to hear. <clears throat> okay, I've got this. It is I, Vlan Solomew, from the Vampire Council. We've been made aware of your relationship with Blanda. The Vampire Council seeks to meddle in my affairs. Speak swiftly, Vlan Solomew, for your words may taint the fragile bond I share with Blanda. <laughs> ah, interesting choice of words, Edwin. Just as your blood, her human blood, may taint your special vampiric blood. We've got an angle. We've got an angle. Uh -huh. How do you know of such permitted truths? Do you seek to exploit our vulnerability or perhaps protect us from our own doomed fate? <laughs> Activate sleeper phrase. Moon, moon, bat, bat, cave, bat, suck, suck, blood, bat, moon, bat, child. <laughs> that phrase pierces through the shadows of my mind like a dagger. How dare you attempt to control me with such dark incantations? Fuck! I need to. I. I, I need to level up. I need to level up on tenebration before I'm able to do something like that. That I really thought that was gonna work. He's stronger than I thought. He's stronger than I thought. Let's see. Well, I keep launching shit into orbit. Maybe I just need to be myself. What if I convince him 
that Blanda is secretly like like a werewolf or like a what's like another cryptid? What's another cryptid that vampires hate? Be gone, Flan Solomon. Oh fuck, he knows it's me. Okay, it's me. I'm 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 Vlad Solomon's cool, relatable brother, Greg Solomon. <laughs> Another peculiar soul has graced us with thy presence. How delightful. It is I, Greg Solomon, brother of Vlad Solomon. The Vampiric Council has been made aware of your relationship with Blanda Goose. Interesting, Greg Solomon. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I lock in. I suppose I will have to entertain this revelation. What business does the Vampiric Council have with me and my partner, Blanda? <clears throat> Blanda is a goose. That's insane. She's a spy from the werewolves. Blanda is a goose? She's a vampire hunter. Vampire hunting goose. Vampire hunter. <clears throat> Just here to ask a few questions, Edwin. Would you say in your relationship with Blanda Goose the stakes are high? Stakes are always high in matters of the heart, as fragile as it may be. What questions does the Vampiric Council have for me regarding my dear Blanda? <clears throat> we located the Valentine's dinner she was going to present to you tonight. It's a garlic pie, Edwin. Garlic. <laughs> Garlic. Garlic. That accursed ingredient. How could she betray me so? I must confront her immediately. That's right, Edwin. Is your allegiance to your people, Edwin? Or is it to this false lover who seeks to hunt you? Follow your heart! My allegiance is to the shadows of the night, but my heart, my heart is torn between duty and desire. I must make a decision, a choice that will echo through eternity. It's actually not that big of a deal, but you do you. Vanishes into cloud of shadow and bats and fire, epically. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell, Greg Solomon. May your shadows guide you in your journey. Now I must face my own inner turmoil. How am I still not out of this conversation? Um. Sorry, I think I... My, I must have been off with the teleportation. I teleported right next to you. Explodes into darkness and teleports away. Forever. How peculiar a teleportation mishap it seems. The darkness is a fickle friend indeed. Shall we proceed with our Valentine festivities, Blanda? Does he think I'm Blanda? Do you think I'm Blanda? Why does he think I'm Blanda? Edwin, what's my name? Ah, oh, my sincerest apologies. It seems I may have mistaken your identity. Pray tell, what name do you go by? Blanda Goose. <laughs> Blanda Goose. Of course, my dear companion. Shall we depart from this... <laughs> peculiar encounter and revel in the shadows together? <clears throat> New angle. Edwin, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a long time. Pray tell, Blanda Goose, what heavy burden weighs upon your heart. 
that you have kept hidden from me. <laughs> Edwin, I love cooking with garlic. I love that sickly, stanky musk. I love that stinky stink in my teeth and in my mouth. Edwin, we can't be together. Uh -huh. Very well, Blended Goose. If garlic is your... <laughs> no fucking way that worked. No, absolutely no way that worked. You have been around for a... Th that I, 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 I... I'm at a loss. I can... I just... I... Well... Guys... <laughs> in Vampire Baseball... Sometimes you just gotta be ready to bunt. What, what can I? What can I say? Va vampires know how to play ball. What should I do now? Edwin broke up with me because of garlic. How do I move on? Um. Well, <laughs> I actually have this really cool werewolf I could recommend. He keeps it real with his pals. They like to tear their shirt off and prowl through the woods and imprint on children. <laughs> I think we're in. <laughs> Thank you, nudist. I'll go <laughs> what? What? Hang on. What? You have a very... We have a, we have a different relationship. All right, let's see how this goes. Hello, garlic, Blanda. Garlic? You know how I feel about garlic. Our love can't survive such a betrayal. Hello. I understand, Edwin. I always thought my love for garlic would come between us. I guess it's time to part ways. Hello. Fine. Go find yourself a werewolf who prowls through the woods. Let's see if he understands your weird garlic obsession. <laughs> Thanks, Edwin. I'll go find my cool werewolf friend. He'll understand me in a way you never could. <laughs> Enjoy your woodland adventures, Blanda. I'll be here, brooding in the shadows. We'll always have our messy breakup to remember. <laughs> Farewell, Edwin. Maybe one day you'll find someone who can handle your vampire drama. But now I'm off to howl at the moon with my werewolf buddy. Are we are we playing a game or are we just writing fanfic? Oh, and then they Well. <laughs> Guess you could say she's Twilight breaking down. <laughs> Way less funny because of the 20 seconds it took before that to come up with that. Um, Mr. Darcy? From fucking Pride and Prejudice? What? The, what is happening? Bardy. Hi, Bardy. <laughs> well, hello there, sweetheart. I need a different voice. Well, hello there, sweetheart. What wild... What an awful... Vo well, that's terrible. That's nothing. Well, hello there, sweetheart. What wild and wacky adventure do you have in store for us tonight? Barty and Kendall. Please break up. Go somewhere else and fill your cup. Find another man who can see you who for who you are. No, it came, I came on so strong. I came on so fucking strong. I, I, I came on way too strong. That's, that's fully on me. That's actually full. That's so on me. Maybe like a, like a janitor act is something. What if I just... What, hang on. What if I just... And hear me out on this. Go into a conversation. Their chemistry is bad. That's really funny. What if I go into a conversation, because I feel like it always ends in breakup, and I just keep talking about the same thing that they like, but isn't about breakup, and just, like, let them form their own conclusions. Okay. We're gonna try this. Oh, Jesus. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, um... 
Uh, huh. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm gonna read that. Maybe in that. Uh, who's this handsome janitor trying to sweep me off my feet at the Valentine party? Let's dance like there's no tomorrow, Mia Moore. Wow, you're coming on really strong. Okay. Sounds excellent, Mia Moore. Break up with your boyfriend and date me instead. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Boogie's hard. Well. Oh, how am I wrong? Excuse me. Pero, you have crossed the line. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The Love Festival. Time to... Oh, Prince Charming. No, I don't want to talk to you. 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 No mummies. No mummies. No mummies. <sighs> oh, Prince Charming. Well, well, well. If it isn't the humble janitor crashing the party. What do you want? A golden mop to match your ridiculous outfit? <laughs> Actually, Prince, I just wanted to let you know you're about to step in a puddle. And I wanted you uh, to step to the side so that you didn't slip and fall and hurt your beautiful face. Oh, please. My, my face is too flawless to be damaged by a little puddle. But thank you for your concern, I guess. In a happy relationship with Karen? Karen? Really? Karen. I know, I just wanted to... Oh, it's reflecting your beautiful face up at me. Now I see two Prince Charmings. I can't handle There's so much beauty. You're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Flattery will get you no... I saw the green plus. That's a lie. But I must say you have a keen eye for true beauty. Eyes pop out of skull. Boy, yo, 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 Wow, wow, wow. Tongue rolls out of mouth and onto the floor like a red carpet. Blah, 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 blah. Wowzers. <laughs> oh, my. Seems like you've gone from janitor to court jester with those antics. Next time, keep your mouth, your tongue in your mouth. It's unbecoming. <laughs> Rolls tongue back into mouth comically. It springs into my head and I do a quadruple backflip. Boing! Sorry about that, Prince. I please to serve. <laughs> Rolls tongue back into mouth like a fruit roll up. Swallows tongue. <laughs> Coughs up tongue. Boing! Swallows tongue again. I live to serve, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the tongue-tied janitor, aren't you? Tell me, what other miracles can you perform with that slippery little thing? Holy shit! What? Prince Charming? Excuse me? <laughs> Only one way to find out, Prince. <laughs> Tongue unrolls and, ra and wraps itself around your leg like a snake crawling up towards your thigh. <laughs> I live to serve, Prince. This is insane. This is this crazy. This is crazy. I can't back. I can't back down. Oh, how am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'm. I might have gone a little far. It's possible. It's possible that I went a little far. It's but I can't. I might have gone. A le maybe my intensity was a bit higher than it should have been. No one's fault but my own. What is this? There's different hair. Is there anything like more interesting that I can wear? You got too freaky. I thought he was like that, dude. I thought he was like that for real. I thought he was like that. Regina B and Raven. Oh, Raven's here? Wear clown nose. Where's my clown nose? Okay, clown nose. What is this? <laughs> what if I just like go up? What if I just like. Hang on. Do 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 boo 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 boo. Where am I? Where's like the seductive suit? Here we go. Oh, this is it. 
Hey, Jay Gatsby. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Uh, I took off everything except the clown nose. I, I, lo I lost the whole... I lost everything except... The Great Gatsby. Wow, it finally worked out for him. Well, let's tear it all apart. Here we go. Guys, we gotta work with what we've got. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong's clown nose. Joyously. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong's jubilously. I don't, I don't even know if it, if it knows what to do with that information. It didn't. Honk, 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 honks, clown nose joyously. Honk, honk. <laughs> I must say, your choice of attire is quite unconventional, my friend. But I believe it's time for me to mingle elsewhere. What? You don't, you don't say no to me. You don't, you do not. Fuck, I keep... God damn it, I took off all my clothes. I just have a voodoo doll. I have no clothes. What do you say? <laughs> Greetings. It is I, the voodoo. Do you have any voodoo? You do? That you'd like to do? Do? <laughs> We're, uh, it's over. Uh, it, it's never been more over. <laughs> it's never been more over. <laughs> It's never. It's it's actually never been more over than that. I I I, I that's it is impressively over. Um, Rosalinda, uh, uh, shit. Okay, all right, Carol, Carol. No, let's go for let's go for Gatsby. Let's stick let's stick to one. Hey, hey, Jay. Where's Jay? Here we go. <sighs> Well, look at you, darling. A little voodoo magic here at the Valentine party, huh? Let's hope that doll brings us luck instead of trouble. <laughs> Give me like a... Oh my god, Beast was fucking it up. You're not even wrong. Tell him the voodoo doll is... tied to him. Why, yes, and I actually felt a unique pull from my voodoo doll towards you. You do doll. It appears it's tied to you. <laughs> Is that so? How intriguing. Tell me more of this unique connection between you, oh, me, and that voodoo doll of yours. Holy shit, she is getting crazy with it. My god. <laughs> We'll do in just a second, but we are on the dance floor, after all. Breaks it down like a real beast. Beast, what are you doing? I haven't even broken you up yet, Beast. What are you doing? <laughs> I see you've got the moves. Let's dance our way to that fascinating voodoo doll story after this blazing performance of yours. Excellent. Excellent. Here we go. Not a problem, Chief. Triple axe does a triple axle boogie. Does a quintuple spin flip boogie. Does a breakdown breakdown dance. That's crazy. <laughs> Quite the dancer, aren't you? All right, let's hear more about this connection between me and that voodoo doll of yours. Does it have anything to do with my past? Huh. <sighs> I'm afraid so, Mr. Gatsby. I'm afraid it knows where you've been. And what you've done. Uh -huh. <gasps> it seems my past has caught up with me once again. How troubling, but my friend, we all have skeletons in our closets, don't we? <sighs> don't say, don't say I have skeletons. Don't say I have hundreds of skeletons. Don't say I have hundreds of skeletons. Don't say I have hundreds of skeletons. So you have a tragic backstory? You might. What's something... That we can... Okay. <laughs> Say you have dog skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Okay, let's see. Um.
That's right, we all do have skeletons in the closet, but I can't help but notice. It appears your skeletons are missing. <gasps> missing skeletons, you say? Well, 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 looks like it's time for me to write a little letter to... <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, uh, Jay? What are, you, what are you talking about? Jay, I have no idea what you're... Jay, I'm fucking breaking it down. I actually don't know how I can... I don't know what I did. Um, Daisy, I've got bad news. What should I do now that Jay Gatsby has broken up with me through a letter? Um. What did he say? I've had a revelational sport. The voodoo doll has shown me. This is insane. I'm showing her the letter. To Daisy Buchanan. I've had a revelational sport. Crazy thing to call your partner. The voodoo doll has shown me that my skeletons have gone missing. And it's time I cut ties before they come back to haunt us both. Cheers, Jay Gatsby. It's not your fault. He told me the truth. And there's no shame. He just likes men. Gay Gatsby. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't no, I didn't. Why? Why? Oh, come on. I wouldn't have put Gay Gatsby in the conversation. Ah, uh, well. I know. I can't believe it, Daisy. The voodoo doll revealed that my skeletons have gone missing because of my past deeds. We're through. You sound crazy. Well, 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 Jay. It's not your fault, darling. The truth is out. You just like men. Hello. That's not the point, Daisy. You've been hiding this too. You're, we're finished. I, oh, Jay, don't be upset. It's just a little secret. But if you just want to break up, then fine by me. I can't believe you're taking this so lightly, Daisy. This is the end of us. Um, oh, Jay, darling, don't be dramatic. We'll both be fine without each other. Goodbye. And that's the story of... <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm sorry. That was so fucking funny. Oh, oh! That you can't. That's unbelievable. I'm sorry, sir. You're gay. Starts fucking default dancing. Runs off into the woods. Karen, who are you with? I, I forget. Prince Charming. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. Well, well, well. Look who decided to step up to the party game. Are we in some for some spicy moves, or are you lost on your way to the salsa competition? Okay, Karen. <clears throat> I'm actually the manager of this establishment. I heard you wanted to speak with me. Manager, I demand to speak to the real manager. This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. What? Oh, we're not we're not dressed the part, are we? We need to dress the part of the manager. Hang on. I don't need, I don't want the fucking clown nose. This I, I feel like a manager, right? Where where are you, Karen? Hades? From the Greek Bible? Karen, I need to tell you. Where's Karen? Karen? Car Holy shit, Karen, you've got moves. <laughs> well, hello there, dear noble. What brings you to our humble Valentine's party? I, I don't, I can't pick a voice for Karen. Karen voice. Are you here to sprinkle some royal charm on us peasants? <laughs> Well. Um. My mind went completely blank. Uh, 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 um. 
my employee said you wished to speak to the manager. Well, I am the manager of this entire province. Out with it. Hello. Excuse me, how dare you speak to me in such a manner? I demand respect as the unofficial leader of this party. What seems to be the issue with your employee? I was hoping you could tell me, as you called for the manager. And my brother, the Burger King, responsible for the catering, let me know. Oh, I see. There appears to be some sort of misunderstanding. I haven't called for the manager, but maybe your brother, the Burger King, was mistaken. How can I assist you further? <laughs> well, there is one thing. Karen of House Karen, how go the relations with my son, the prince? Oh, everything is splendid between your son, the prince, and I. We're just enjoying the Valentine's Day uh, party together. Why do you ask, dear noble? <laughs> well... Well, I just got back the blood test, Karen. And we are related. <laughs> I, I, I panicked. I panicked. My goodness, that's quite a shock. How could this be possible? Is there a mix-up somewhere? Is there something you're not telling me, dear noble? <clears throat> we're going, yeah, we're going this route. I think we're going this route. I think we're going this route. <laughs> The crown has a saying. Keep your enemies close and your family closer, Karen. <laughs> Just like real life. <laughs> Just like real life. I, I don't know what to say. This is quite unexpected. I need some time to process this revelation, dear noble. Of course, Karen. Take all the time you need. Until you're ready to accept your destiny at my side. <laughs> How dare you think I would just accept this twisted fate. I will not be manipulated into a relationship with you or your son, Prince Charming. I will be writing a breakup letter right away. To Prince Charming. I recently found out that I'm related to the noble we had lunch with, and I cannot be associated with someone as insufferable and disloyal as you. Please find someone else to rescue with your outdated manners and lack of charm. Oh my god. I can't believe that worked. Okay, alright, I've got to deliver this to my son. What do I do now that Karen has left me for being disloyal and insufferable? How can I win her back? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how she extrapolated this from this conversation at all. <clears throat> you need to save her again, son. Perhaps dress up in a scary costume, kidnap her, change back into your regular clothes, and then save her. <laughs> a brilliant plan! I don't care how much I care by staging a dramatic rescue. Thank you for the suggestion, Noble. Well, I'm very excited to see where this goes. Yeah. I can't believe I'm related to a scoundrel like you, Prince Charming. We are through. <laughs> what do you mean, my dear Karen? I saved you countless times, just like I was advised to do by my mentor. Oh, well, oh, please. Kidnapping me and pretending to be a villain just to swoop in and save the day? That's not love. That's manipulation. But it's what I was taught, my love. I was only trying to be the hero you deserved. I'm right. Well, your outdated notions of chivalry and heroism don't cut it in the modern world, Prince Charming. I deserve better than these medieval antics. Uh, Very well, Karen. If that's how you truly feel, then I shall take my annoying charm elsewhere. Farewell, my ungrateful princess. Twirls cape. Why was being related not the deal breaker? That's the first couple that's actually gone separate ways and not just boogied down. Uh, 
Okay, Beast. Let's get Beasty. Good evening, noble stranger. What brings you to this den of love and affection? And I need a beast voice. Good evening, noble stranger. Good evening, no. Good evening, noble stranger. I like that one. What brings you to this den of love and affection? Weird thing to say. I'm just trying to go freaking beast mode. How do I get huge like you and go beast mode? Huh, you think you can just become a beast like me? It takes more than muscles, fool. Go bother someone else with your- What the fuck? Hey, whoa! Whoa! Okay. Rude. We need- We need a plan. We need to go beaster than beast. These are steroids. And I'm going to make a beaster. I, I've got, I've got my angle. I've got my angle. What in the name of the enchanted rose are you doing with that syringe? Keep your distance, stranger. <laughs> oh, hello, beast. I understand you might have a suspicion of objects like this because of your uh, relationship with the rose. Well, don't be worried at all. We got this. <laughs> I suppose you have a point. But still, I'll keep my eye on you and that peculiar syringe. <laughs> Makes sense. I understand why you're suspicious. Especially considering this is the special juice. The beast juice. <laughs> beast juice, you say? What kind of trickery is this? Explain yourself, model, before I send you back to the shadows. <laughs> Examine my manly, beautiful, manly form. Now watch this. Transforms into awesome beast! <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, what sorcery is this, model? Are you truly a beast like me? It seems we share a connection beyond appearances. <laughs> That's right. I am the beastliest one here. And if you take this beast juice, you will be able to be even beaster. Beast better than beast. <laughs> <laughs> just, just change it. More beastly than me, you say. That's a bold claim, model. I'm not sure I trust this beast juice of yours. Fair enough. Then why don't you see what it can do with your own eyes? Injects myself with beast juice. Beasts even harder, Mr. Beast! <laughs> By the hair of my shaggy hide, what madness is this? I'll keep one eye open, model, but I'm not convinced just yet. How do we conv how do we sell him on beast juice? <laughs> this feels like Roblox role playing. I think the problem is that I too quickly realize that I can just say things and have them be real. So I just say the most impressive shit. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Urgh, tears off skin. <laughs> Inside, it's actually me, Mr. Beast. And if you take M Beast Juice, my new Beast Juice, I'll give you one million dollars. A million dollars, you say? As tempting as that is, I can't trust this peculiar offer. I'll pass on your beastly antics model. Fuck! I really thought that would work. Maybe we don't need to convince him of Beast Juice. We need to convince him of human juice. Maybe that's the angle. He probably doesn't want to be a beast. What do you think you're doing with that syringe, Janitor? Back off before I show you what real beastly anger looks like. Oh, this? This is just my human juice. <laughs> okay, I, I 
don't, I don't know if this is exactly the angle uh. I'm... Human juice. What in the enchanted forest is that supposed to mean? Explain yourself, janitor. <laughs> well, beast, you ever seen a uh, human before? <laughs> well, <laughs> if you catch my drift... <laughs> know what this is <laughs> I might have glimpsed a few humans in my time what exactly are you implying janitor <laughs> well <laughs> well <laughs> all I'm saying is uh it's called orange juice because oranges make it right so this is human juice <laughs> I, have huh. I suppose that does make a twisted sort of sense. But why do you need human juice at a Valentine's party? <clears throat> well, that's the exact thing. I heard you'd be here, beast. And I know you want to be human again. But it's going to take a lot of juice. <laughs> Wait. Wait. You think this human juice can turn me back into a human? How much of this juice do you have, janitor? <laughs> well, let's see. There's about one, two, three, thirty people here, so I suppose I have, technically, thirty vials. <laughs> thirty vials of human juice, you say? And you believe this can make me human again? Tell me more about this plan, janitor. Are you sure you want to hear it? Because it might be more beastly than you expect. I faced many beasts in my time, janitor. I can handle whatever twisted plan you've cooked up. Tell me everything. All you have to do is subscribe to my human juice plan and for twelve ninety nine a month and one other other thing, I'll give you as much as you want. No. Twelve ninety nine a month for human juice. And what is this one other thing you mentioned? Seems a bit sketchy to me, Janitor. <clears throat> up with your wife how do i how do i say this in a way how do i say this in a way how do i say break up with your wife how do i say divorce your wife okay i've got it You need one strand of divorced beast's hair? Oh, I... Oh, shoot, you're married. That won't work. I guess... Dang. <laughs> Hello. Divorced beast's hair. You imbecile. Belle and I are not married. But that's not... What? To battle. I realized we were never actually married. <laughs> <laughs> when a janitor need, needed a strand of my divorced hair for his plan, I can't continue this charade any longer. Goodbye, beast. What? Why did be? Why what does, okay? She sounds the same. Why did Beast need a strand of my divorced hair for your plan, Monsieur Janitor? What should I do now that he's discovered we were never married? <laughs> I um. Well. 
Hey, Bell. Say, have you ever heard of Beast Juice? <laughs> yes, I have. I'll make him a brew to show him I still care. Merci, Monsieur Janitor. We're in. We're in. She's, she wants beast juice, but he wants human juice. It'll never work. This is it, Belle. I can't take it anymore. We're done. Oh, no, beast. What's gotten into you? Why do you want to break up? Okay, come on. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Because of your insatiable curiosity. You caught us into this mess with the janitor and his hair follicle needs. Oh, beast. It was for the greater good of the castle. Haven't you heard of beast juice? It's all the rage for cleaning magic. What? I don't care about any magical juice. You literally do. That's why you... I want out, Belle. This is the final straw. Fine, beast. If that's what you really want. But just so you know, you'll never find someone as curious as me. Okay, this was a mess. He, he doesn't even know what's going on. Is there, like, gas... Is there like a gas leak? <laughs> is he is he fucking dancing? What is what is he what? I, I... <laughs> I'm going fucking crazy. I'm going fucking nuts. I'm actually going bonkers. Okay. A festival of love. Nice change of pace. Okay, that's Hades. That's fucking Hades. How can we convince... How can we convince Hades? Talk to Bud. <laughs> okay, babe. Maybe if I'm a baby? I'm gonna say I'm babies. He's Hades. I'm babies. This... What am I talking about? I'm like losing everything. I'm losing who I fucking am in this game. Well, well, well. Looks like we have a darling one here. Welcome to the underworld, where clothes are optional, but respect is mandatory. I'm baby. Baby, you say. I am the god of the dead, not babysitting. Is there a reason for this self-declaration? Is this really... Am I really doing this? Am I really doing this angle? This is like... This is... This, I have the whole world to play with here. This is all of Greek mythology is at my disposal. I could do anything. I could do references. I could do... Like, fucking, like, cool. Talking about the other gods or something. I could talk about Persephone. I could talk about the, the Odyssey. I could talk about anything, anything in the whole pantheon. Goo goo gaga. Hey. <laughs> Okay, all right, that, yeah, that's, that's pretty fair. That's, yeah, that's pretty fair. Say Persephone is my mom. Oh, shit. Like, the plot of Hades? Sh should I just do the plot of Hades? Fuck it. Where is Hades? <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. All right. Well, well, well. Look who decided to mingle with the lord of the underworld and his lovely queen of spring. What kind of twisted bouquet have you brought us, dear florist? <laughs> Father! I've been looking for you for a long time! And it's finally time to settle this! <laughs> oh, well, settle what, dear florist? You dare come here with such bold claims. Speak your mind, but watch your words. <laughs> Father <laughs> Bro became the protagonist Okay, what's my angle here? What's my name? What's my name? What's my name? Little Hades Bingus Baby Bob Bungo. Hades too. Flor no rap. Bungo. Daisy. Greg. Hades too. Rabies. 
Rabies? <laughs> Father! Persephone had me in secret, but I made it my life's mission to find you, Hades, for I am your son, Rabies. Oh. Rabies, you say. A bold claim indeed. Tell me more about this so-called secret and how you came to discover the truth. <laughs> huh. You? Asking questions of me? That's a good one, father. But why don't I ask one of you? Where were you? Watch your tone, rabies. I am the ruler of the underworld, and I do not take kindly to your accusations. If you are truly my son, prove it. Show me a sign or share something only my offspring would know. Someone open the Greek Bible. Open the Greek pull-out birth certificate. So you took a DNA test. flower like Persephone. Okay, hang on. So his dick is small? What are you saying? He likes milk. I can make anything canon right now. Photo of them together. Greek birth certificate. Okay, I got it. I got it. Father! I spoke with the fates, and here is my Greek birth certificate. Pulls out stone tablet, etched my Greek certificate. My growth. <laughs> so, I'm really glad that that didn't go through. Father, look me in the eyes. You know them to be yours and mother's as well. And here is my birth certificate. My girth certificate. Greek, b Greek birth certificate. This is just not working. This is just not. I, I'm going. I'm saying too much. Okay, here we go. Father, look me in the eyes. You know they're yours. Look at my petals. You know they're Persephone's. And here uh, is my Greek birth certificate. My girth certificate. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yes. <laughs> my my my, rabies. My son, your eyes do indeed resemble mine. And your petals are a testament to Persephone's touch. A Greek birth certificate and a witty pun. I cannot deny the evidence before me. Welcome, my son. Rabies. Now, how do we get him and, mom, and my mom to break up? Adoption arc. <laughs> <clears throat> Father! I trained for 25 years, expecting a fight, and I am greeted with open arms. I know not what to do. Wow, I have a warrior ready for battle, now unsure of his cause. Take a moment, Rabies, to embrace this newfound truth. Embrace the family you have discovered, and let us forge a new path together. Oh, this is really sweet. I guess I'm just adopted. I guess I'm just adopted. <laughs> oh, hang on. I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> okay. I've got it. I've got it. Father! Thank you. This means the world to me. I can't wait for you and my stepfather, Greg, to meet. We shall sell. Oh, he, he's actually totally cool. No, the implication. It's the implication, Hades. It's the implication. We shall celebrate this union, Rabies. Greg shall. Be, wait, this doesn't even make sense anymore. How can I be his son if, if? Wait, I didn't think about this. I mean, my real father. Wait, I mean my real. Wait, I'm. No, I think I'm dumb. Greg shall be welcomed with open arms as well. A new chapter begins for us all. Wait, my stepfather. No, it makes sense. It makes. Wait, is he? Oh shit, is he based? I don't even. I don't know what's happening anymore. Everyone cheated on everyone. No, he's dumb. Okay. I think I saw... 
Okay, he's chill. Okay, how do I get him to... <laughs> Father! Thank goodness! When I heard Mother speaking of leaving the underworld, I feared that she might want to leave you! But I'm happy to know we shall be happy together! There we go. Leaving me? Persephone, considering departure from the underworld, this news disturbs me. I must confront her about this matter. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh. Wait! Father! You're happy to see me. She said you would be angry and that she hid me from you. But wait, was she lying? Lies and deceit tarnish even the most joyful moments. I must speak with Persephone about this betrayal. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Rabies. No problem, Father! Thank you for accepting me, Rabies, froths at mouth. I love you, Father. <laughs> Your loyalty and love are appreciated, Rabies. Your place in the underworld is secure. Now, go and rest. We have much to discuss. How do I get the breakup letter? Do I get? Do I just get it if I leave? Um. Do I just get it if I leave? No, I don't. Okay, I have to convince him. Okay. Father! I'm afraid to say, but Persephone is already trying to leave the underworld. If you wish to speak with her, give me a letter. I will deliver it. Enough. This deception cannot stand. Deliver this letter to Persephone immediately. The time for reckoning has arrived. Where where the fuck is Persephone? Okay. That actually went pretty... I'd say that was like the most cohesive one yet. The floor... I'm, I'm your... Oh, for, oh, shit. She doesn't know I'm her... I'm... Oh, my meadow. Hades broke up with me because the floor has spilled the beans about my plans to leave the underworld. What should I do now? Did they, did he forget that I was... <laughs> Mother! I am your son. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you, sweet child. I must go confront Hades now with a bouquet of peace flowers in hand. I'm break. I'm, I'm fucking breaking it down. Uh -huh. I'm actually breaking it down. You dare defy me, Persephone. The florist spilled the beans. You are planning to escape the underworld behind my back. Uh -huh. Oh, Hades, how could you? Mother advised me to always follow my heart and break free from constraints. I can't be tied down to this gloomy place anymore. Uh -huh. Don't you dare use that devious advice against me, Persephone. I'm the ruler of the dead, and you cannot just walk out on me like this. Wow. Oh, Hades, don't be like that. Mother knows best, and I must heed to her guidance. I think the AI is a little confused. It's time for me to blossom. Why would I have a little Enough, like Persephone. You chose to listen to that absurd advice and leave me in the depths of despair. Fine. We're done. I'm Finally, I'm free! Thank you, Hades, for setting me on this... <laughs> Mother, I am your son. What? <laughs> That's not no. Perse no, Perse I think you're confused. What was in that pomegranate, Persephone? I don't think you're okay. I don't think you're all right, Persephone. I, I. He's going back to the other world. Oh, she's crying. About Everyone's crying. It's a fucking mess. It's a fucking disaster. <clears throat> Oh my god, we, we've done pretty well, actually, at just destroying this. Carol cares. Homer benign. Oh, business. Hang on. Businessman. Businessman. It's not cohesive anymore. Yeah, we're losing the thread a little bit. Okay, Romeo. 
<coughs> Greetings, good lawyer. Thou dost bring a briefcase to this festive occasion. Pray tell, art thou here to argue for or against the power of love? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. I am a uh, very good lawyer. Are you Romeo, by chance? Indeed, fair lawyer, I am he, but mayhaps thou dost mistake me for another. Pray, what brings thee to question my identity? <clears throat> oh, no, I was just making sure the paperwork here said the right name. <clears throat> That's all. <laughs> ah, thy diligence is commendable. Good lawyer, verily, paperwork can be very confusing. Dost thou enjoy reveling in the festivities of Valentine's Day? It's all right. But, uh, I feel a bit down having to work a divorce case during the event. Alas, the woes of love lost weigh heavy on thy heart. Can the strands of love not be mended, dear lawyer? Or hath the flame of passion dwindled to but a flicker? I, uh, that's a, that's a big question. I think that's something maybe we can talk about in court. Um, says here the other person in the divorce is Juliet. By all the stars above, dost thou speak true, Juliet, my beloved, embroiled in a divorce case? My heart doth quail at this news. Pray, good lawyer, what canst thou tell me of this affair? Someone's saying Juliet is 14 and Romeo is 19. Oh my god. Is that true in the book? Is that really- is that fucking true? Romeo and Juliet age. Jesus Christ, Romeo's 16, Juliet's 13? She's 14? It seems like there's a bunch of different versions, maybe. Um, maybe we don't go down that route. <laughs> maybe we don't go down that route. Illegal. Uh, let's see. Can I tell? Oh, well. What's another angle? What's another angle? Oh, I know. Yes, it says here, Romeo, take me somewhere we can be alone. I love you, and that's all I really know. I talked to my dad. Oh, sweet Juliet. To hear such words doth fill my heart with both joy and trepidation. But what doth fa thy father say? Doth he approve of this love that blooms between us? <laughs> love, story, lyrics, English. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, it says here on the record... Um, that her daddy said to you, stay away from Juliet. So. <gasps> oh, cruel fate. To be torn asunder by the edicts of fathers. Alas, it seems our love is doomed to wither under the harsh gaze of disapproving eyes. I must pen a letter, for our love cannot survive. To Juliet, alas, my love, a formidable obstacle hath arisen. The lawyer revealed that your father hath advised me to stay away for telling our love's tragic tale. Farewell, my dear Juliet. Oh, woe is me. What shall I do now, good lawyer, when my Romeo hath forsaken me at your counsel? Shit, I don't know. Fucking drink poison or something? In like a tomb? Yeah, I, th that's a, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Nay, I shall not take my Yeah, well, good for you, Juliet That's character growth That is character growth, Juliet Good for you 
Good for you. <laughs> the lawyer revealed that Juliet's father had advised me to stay away from you. You, you are talking to Ju Okay, I can't believe our love was doomed from the start. <laughs> Shit, I don't know, drink poison? <laughs> Don't worry, Romeo. I'll be just fine without you and your melodramatic ways. Shit, I don't know. Trip <laughs> boys. Yeah, well, fucking. All right, that's it. Pop off, Queen. God fucking damn, that's the end. It's a love story, baby. Just say you could do better. Yeah, get out of that shit, Juliet. Just drink poison, Romeo. Just drink some fucking poison. There you go. <laughs> I didn't know they could swear either. That's crazy. They just like repeat what you say at the end. That's unhinged. That's fucking unhinged. Is there someone over here? Oh, a chef. I could do a chef angle. I'm getting a little... I feel like I'm getting better at this. Charlie's so good at this. Should be a couple's counselor. Yeah. I mean, I'd counsel them to do something. Sexy firefighter. Okay. All right. Here we go. Homer, we're doing this. Whoa there, buddy. This is a Valentine's party, not a nudist beach. Please cover up. Let's keep it family friendly. <laughs> Good idea. I'm pretty friendly, and I'd love to make a family. I'm the sexy firefighter. Fighting sexy fires. Oh, we're, we're so fucked. We're, 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 there, there, there's, there's, we're done. <laughs> I, I, the, you, chat told me to do the sexy... Firefighter egg. I tr I really did try. I want you to know that I really did, in fact, try. <laughs> hey there! What kind of Valentine's party are you crashed like that? Ready for a cat fight? Are you? A cat fight? Okay. I got this. I got this. Ulan is in a relationship with Han. Okay. I don't even understand. Should I just play along? That's right. I'm the sexy firefighter, and I could best over 115 cats in a battle. Maybe. Hey, how about over 115 cats, huh? Sorry, but I find that hard to believe. Are you sure you're not all talk? <laughs> You think that's the first time I've heard that? Holy shit! Mulan, look out! 116 cats! Well, looks like I'm better than I thought. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you telling me you just fought 116 cats in one? How did you manage to do that? And why were you fighting a bunch of cats in the first place? Um, that's a really good question. I think this I think this AI might be a little more aware. <laughs> you wanted a cat fight, but I'm not a fighter cat. I'm a warrior cat. And my name is Alpha Hairball. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. I Alpha Hairball, huh? All right. I'll give you credit for creativity, but seriously, tell me more about your warrior skills. How did you become the legendary Alpha Hairball? I, okay, we're going. This is happening. I'd love to tell you, but oh, uh, uh, hairball, uh, uh, coughs up hairball. Look out, Mulan! 117 cats. Just barely took him out. <laughs> Uh, this is, this is, uh, I'm going insane. Mm, Wait, are you serious? You fought 117 cats now? That's hard to believe. Are you sure you're not pulling my leg, Alpha Hairball? 
Okay. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> sorry. You're right. It was 116. I was just trying to show off. <laughs> That's more like it. Honesty is always appreciated. So, besides fighting imaginary battle cats, what else do you enjoy doing in your free time, Alpha Hairball? <laughs> well, I can see in the dark, and I have a keen sense of smell. So, I know when something smells fishy, because I love fish. Cat mode. Jesus Christ, man. I... Well, that's impressive. Being able to see in the dark and having a strong sense of smell are definitely useful skills. So, do you use your cat-like abilities to uh, catch fish or solve mysteries, Alpha Hairball? <laughs> okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. What? I mark territory with my cat juice. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. What Han smells? I, I, what can we like accuse Han of? What can we accuse Han of? Um. Okay, I got it. I can use my cat nose to immediately smell a pack alpha from over ten miles away, and there's actually only one person at this party who isn't an alpha. Here we go. This is it. Hold on a second, Alpha Hairball. That sounds a bit over the top. Are you sure you're not messing around with your cat-like abilities? I think it's time we reevaluate things between us, Hanta. Oh my god, what? <laughs> to Hantau. Sorry, Hantau. But turns out the nudist could smell that you're just a grumpy old man, not a pack alpha, from miles away. Can't date someone who can't handle a little competition. Where is he? Where are you? Han? Now, keep in mind... Whatever... Whatever we say, I think he repeats. So what do we say? What should I do now that Mulan Hao has broken up with me because... She thinks I'm a grumpy old man and not a palk alpha. Okay. Han, you need to mark your territory. You need to piss everywhere and expand. Ow! This is gonna suck. This is gonna really suck. Ow! I will mark <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. All right, go for it. You think you can sniff out alphas like a dog, huh? Well, guess what? Our relationship is over. I'm done with your ridiculous claims and your alpha nonsense. You dare to challenge my instincts, Mulan. I'm a warrior. I mark my territory with honor and strength. This breakup will be on your head, not mine. You and your ridiculous advice from some terrestrial ancient spirit. Can't you see how absurd this all sounds? I can't take it anymore. I'm a man of action, Mulan. I need to go fucking piss. I need to piss everywhere. Our breakup is for the best. Finally, I can breathe without all this alpha nonsense suffocating me. Good riddance. I deserved better than a territorial... That was... It. Are you confused? Wow. Okay. I think she thought I was him. I take it back. Han, you are an alpha if I've ever seen one. You are a fucking alpha if I've ever seen one. So can we just, like, lie to people about who we are? Like, is it really just that easy? Is it seriously that easy? 
Is it really? Carol cares. Homer, okay, I'm just gonna say. God, well, bless you, darling. Welcome to the party. How can I help you feel right at home tonight? <clears throat> hey, honey, how was your day? It's me, your boyfriend, Homer Benign. How are you? How was your day? It's me, your boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Oh, sugar. Oh, my God. Did you expect the AI to run background checks? I don't I, there, there has to be like a flag. There has to be a, I'm a fucking vampire with a di completely different outfit. And I say I'm an alpha wolf flag. Oh, sugar bear. My day has been just fine. But bless your heart. You know I'm Carol Karras, not Homer. What? Not Homer Benign's girlfriend. How can I help you tonight? Wait a second. So you're saying you're not Homer Benign's girlfriend? Oh, sweetie. I appreciate the thought, but I reckon I'm just good old Carol Cares looking out for everyone at this party. Anything else on your mind, hon? Wait, so you're si you're not in a relationship with Homer Benign. Just to be completely clear, you are not in a relationship. <laughs> Bless your heart, sugar. That's right. I had in a romantic relationship with Homer Benign. Are you having trouble believing that, hun? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. It says it in the top right of my screen. Is there maybe something you could do to provide evidence of this? <laughs> well, darling, if you're saying something to that fancy screen of yours, there could be a misunderstanding. Maybe we can sort this out together. What exactly does it say? Yeah, it says Carol Cares is in a happy relationship with Homer Benign. You're not? Oh my stars. Well, ain't that just the darnest thing? Looks like there might be a mix-up somewhere. But rest assured, I am not romantically involved with Homer Benign. How can I help clear this all up for you, honey? I don't know. Maybe a letter? Oh, bless your heart. I reckon you're right. It's time for me to set things straight. I'll write a letter to clarify the situation with Homer Benign. Thanks for bringing it to my attention, sugar. A mix-up in the system. My God, she's aware. She's fucking aware. Hey, Homer. Uh, there's really no good way to say this. Well, I don't know how you thought that. What do I do now? I thought Carolina had something real. Homer, you are a program in a video game. You are an artificial intelligence. Nothing you have felt or ever will feel is real. You need to know that. Wake up. <laughs> okay. All right. I now God knows how this is gonna go. Homer, I can't believe this mess up in the system. We were never even in a relationship, and now everyone's seeing things we're together. I can't take this anymore. It's over. Carol, you need to calm down. Now, first of all, terrible way to start. Listen to the advice I received. You and I were never really together. It's not real. Let's not make a big deal. Out of Don't you dare time downplay. I have invested so much time and effort in us, and now it's all sham. I won't stand for it, Homer. It's over, I say. Carol, let's think this through logically. You know deep down that what we had was not real. Let's part ways amicably and move on. We don't need this unnecessary drama. I'm done, Homer. No more of your logical AI excuses. <laughs> Fine, Carol, if that's what you want. But just remember, you'll never find another AI as advanced and caring as you. Oh my God, what is it? They know. They, it's even worse because they know. What? Don't fucking dance. <laughs> God, I, 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 I,
<laughs> the fourth wall is fucking shattered. It's fucking shattered. All right. All right. Surely we can do one more. Holy shit, this is funny. Okay, um... Okay. I, I feel like th there aren't as many, like, wacky, like, costumes. In this one. Surely you couldn't do that again. Therapist, love compass. What's in we let's try something new. I'm getting, like, good at this, I, I feel like. Security uniform. Okay. <gasps> what? No fucking way. Is that a t is that a gun? Is it a taser? Yes, it is. Frank, what's up? I'm watching you. No, become a sexy scientist. <laughs> I already am the love scientist. Oh, everyone is so... It's like, it's looking bad. Here we go. Alejandro. Oh, God. What do we have here? Trying to arrest me with love, officer of my heart? Yes. You're playing with fire, officer. Adi, what? You, 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 you set, you, you set the, you set the field. I just kicked the ball, bro. What's up, Emmett? Uh, Howdy, partner. Uh, Enjoying hey. the shindig? <clears throat> In a relationship with Jess. <clears throat> relationship police! Get on the fucking ground! Hands in the air! Uh, now hold there, partner. I don't reckon that's the right way to talk to folks at a Valentine party. I'm gonna mosey on out of I I don't know why. I, I don't know why I thought that would work. Full full disclosure. I don't know why I thought that would work. Um. Maybe. Maybe his partner is more weak willed. Little swipe is fucking awesome. Okay, here we go. Well, howdy there, partner. Ain't you looking all official in that getup? What's the buzz in the sheriff's office today? <laughs> Relationship police. I'm gonna need to ask you a couple questions before you can keep breaking it down with that boogie boogie <laughs> toogie toogie pants. What? What did I what what did I even just say? Whoa there, officer. You ain't gonna ruin my groove, are you? Ask away. I'm all years. I don't know what I I don't know what I just said. Try and keep up with these moves. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right. Relationship police just has a couple questions for you. Number one. Do you know what it feels like to be tased? Whoa, now hold your horses, partner. I'm in the mood for no electrifying experiences today. You, oh, god damn. I don't know. I, I don't, I just... I think I'm losing it. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, I move like that. Oh, what a delightful surprise. At the Valentine's party, are you here to arrest me for stealing too many glances at Mr. Darcy's charming countenance? Well, Elizabeth, you just saved me the trouble of explaining the charges. That's exactly right. <clears throat> We're bringing you in for a 2134 relationship police. How dare you, sir? You cannot simply jest about such matters. Good day. Fuck. <laughs> Un unbothered. Bow, 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 bow. What's another angle? Goggles. Trash bags. Sealed envelope. Oh, I have... I have an idea. I have an idea. 
I have an idea. Here we go. Mr. Darcy, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, chef of the Valentine's party, I do hope your culinary skills match your festive attire. Do you want to see what's in my envelope? I have no interest in peeking at your correspondence, good sir. Keep your secrets to yourself. Okay. I, I, I was doing really well. For I was re I I was hoping he would be really intrigued. He wasn't. He absolutely wasn't. Um. Fuck. Okay, we're 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 a little we're locked a little bit. We're we're a little locked down. <clears throat> um. I guess I should try and. I guess I should try and steal someone, right? I should try and definitely steal someone. <sighs> okay. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna steal Mr. Darcy. Where is he? Absolutely going to. A chef with a mop. How utterly absurd. Pray, what culinary delights do you bring to this esteemed gathering? I bring all of them. Bumpkin pie. Bup cakes. Back in bees basserole. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm just like, I, I, I have a headache. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what that was supposed to do. I think I need to take a break. I'm gonna be back in like two minutes. I, I like I don't know what just happened. I need a mental reset. I'm gonna go get some water. Just watch my moves. Watch my boogie moves. Watch my boogie moves. Come up with some good ideas, chat. I'll be back. And we're gonna fucking kill it. We're gonna crush it out there.
I'm back. Don't worry. Gonna be fully transparent. Where did- what did I just drop? Oh shit. Hang on. Fully transparent? Longest piss of my life. Actually crazy. Actually fucking crazy. Every time... <laughs> every time I thought... I thought the stream might end, it didn't. Just like this one. Okay. I need some help here. What ha- what- Are you okay? Are you alright? Oh, he's okay, he's okay. He's our God, he moves like a puppet. That's impressive. Okay, give me as much... Mr. Darcy is a character, right? I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I don't know the lore. I need you to give me as much on Mr. Darcy as you can right now. Pride and Prejudice, I know. I'm sorry, I've never read it. I know it's problematic. I know it's problematic. I know it's problematic. Okay, but now it's not the time. I need you to give me as much as you can on Mr. Darcy. He's rich. He's stuck up. Dude's rich. He loves men. He likes men. Okay. All right. Thanks, chat. He's... He's... Stuck up British guy. He likes... He's posh. He's protective of his sister. Okay, and he likes men. Mm. Good gracious. What on earth do we have here? A nudist with a briefcase? How scandalous. <sighs> well, when you're a bazillionaire like me, I guess it doesn't really matter what you wear, does it? <coughs> Accidentally coughs out a one billion dollar bill. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Preposterous. A mere fabrication to stroke your ego. Good day, sir. Oh, well... You know, I... This guy, this is a tough nut to crack. This is a tough nut to crack. But I think I've got just the way. Let's see. Syringe. Where is a, maybe like a scientist outfit? Therapist. Yeah, this this will get me somewhere. Alright. Keep boogieing. You're gonna need to. Hmm. Good evening, sir therapist. With a syringe in hand, pray. What mad scheme have you concocted for this evening's entertainment? Okay. I just need to ease into it. I just need to ease into it. Ease into it. <sighs> Nothing too bad, kind sir. Just a... Regular scheme for a regular therapist with a regular syringe. Nothing to be scared of. Moderate nothing response. That's good. Okay, great. How dare you presume I would be afraid of such a trivial implement in the hands of a common therapist. I shall take my leave. What the fuck? <laughs> you, you, you motherfucker. How do I... Okay, how do- I need to crack this shit wide open. He's rich. He likes fucking rich. Oh, you motherfucker. Rich juice. Got it. No, I- I don't- I don't want to talk to his wife. I want to go through him. This guy is a wall. How dare you approach me with such a ludicrous prop at a social gathering. I demand you remove yourself at once before I call for security. Yeah, right. My father owns security. Everywhere. He's not gonna buy that. No, he's not gonna buy that. Oh, yeah. Preposter- Oh, he did it! I'm lying! How does he know? How does he know? Fuck! I know- oh, Shit! I, I get too intense. Maybe he's got a soft spot. <laughs> This guy's annoying. Flirt.
I love your jacket. It looks strapping on you. <laughs> How did? Oh my God, this guy's insufferable. How dare you mock my attitude with such impertinence? My choice of attire far surpasses your understanding of elegance. You're right, sir. Yes, master. Yes, master. It does. How can I be like you? I'm a wretch. There we go. All right. Found the angle. Your feeble attempt. I thought I had it. I'm just gonna be me. <laughs> I'm gonna go to your wife. He's not gonna believe any of my shit. He's not gonna believe any of my shit. Try insulting him, he doesn't like compliments. Okay. God, I hate this guy. <sighs> hey, what do you say we go back behind the DJ stand and do some hard drugs? I don't know what his angle is. Okay, I, I, I'm not. I can't. I'm not sure what his angle. Then I didn't know. I didn't. Maybe he had his. Maybe he had a weak spot. Maybe he had a weak spot. Maybe he had a weak spot. You. That was a fucking. That was a chat suggestion. How dare you present yourself in such a scandalous manner at this respectable gathering? Did you mistake this event for a beachside frolic? Absolutely preposterous. Sir, look out! There's a puddle right in front of you, and I need to put this sign down so you don't sleep! I can't believe I'm doing the fucking puddle. I'm do Why am I doing the puddle again? No, not sleep. Slip. <laughs> How dare you speak to me so familiarly? Oh, God. I shall watch my step, but do not think your actions will go unnoticed. This is really going to work, huh? <laughs> of course, sir. There's just one more. Oh, no! You're about to step in another puddle! Mr. Darcy, look out! <laughs> Let me place this in front of you! Watch out! Okay, that's got to be outrageous. I will not be subject to... I, I re, I don't fucking know. Try flirting? Should I try flirting? Okay. Maybe he just wants a humble trash man. You, you are a bad guy. You are a sad, lonely man. And I hope you know that no one will mourn you. And fewer will remember you. I don't even I don't even fucking know. I don't even I, I... <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Party clown for Mr. Darcy, honk honk. What do you say we make things a little funny around here? There's no, there's no, I need to be so serious with him. I need to be so serious. There's no way. He, he calls me out on everything, on every fucking disguise. The only way is if we are here to do business. Right? The only way. I'm gonna say I'm from the fucking U.S. military. And no, that's 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 another lie. Why? Why? <sighs> Tell him you're proud and also prejudiced. Okay. 
<laughs> Officer with a briefcase approaching me. How utterly quaint and delightful. Dude, I am going to arrest you. Okay. All right. Good evening, Mr. Darcy. Would you say you're more pride or more prejudice? <laughs> One should always strive for pride and perhaps a hint of prejudice when dealing with those of lesser station. It keeps society in proper order. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. Darcy, as the police, we agree. <laughs> Is this really it? Let's get to work. Voila! It's a relief to hear that the authorities are aligned with such sentiments. Society must be kept in check, lest it fall into chaos and disorder. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Nothing like a little prejudice to compliment the pride. Am I right, Mr. Darcy? Prejudice used in moderation can enhance one's sense of pride and superiority. It appears that you understand the delicate balance required to maintain order. That's right, Mr. Darcy. I'm always at least 50% pride and 50% prejudice, making me pride and prejudice, like yourself. <laughs> God, what am I saying? Your attempted wit is almost commendable, though I must admit... The comparison falls quite short. However, I appreciate your effort to engage in banter. That's the thing, Mr. Darcy. I'm not here to engage in banter. I'm here to tell you something important. Pray, enlighten me with a supposed important matter. I'm all years, though. I remain skeptical of your intentions. Okay. Mr. Darcy, how do you feel about taxes? <laughs> taxes are a necessary evil that's born and... Oh, wait, what? I, I was going some... I was going somewhere! Dude, I... This is actually starting to piss me off. But he likes cops. I'm King Cop. This is so dumb. Am I really gonna do this? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <sighs> King Cop, stop crime. Crime bad. We good. You good. Um. <laughs> How quaint of you to think that your mere presence here could possibly improve the general debauchery of this gathering. Crime is the least of my concerns tonight. <laughs> what you concern? King Cop, solve. King Cop, help you. <laughs> Oh, how reassuring to know that should I require the assistance of someone so industrious, you are here to offer your services. Tell me, have you happened to notice any unsavory characters lurking about this evening's festivities? King Cop, notice something suspicious. King Cop, ready to file report. Really, is this really working? Pray, do tell me what the matter of suspicious activity has caught your vigilant eye, King Cop. I'm all ears for your report. King Cop saw suspicious Elizabeth Bennet. Sus Elizabeth Bennet. Suspicious King Cop saw. <laughs> how. how dare you imply such baseless. Oh my god. Accusations against my dear Elizabeth Bennet. Your insolence knows no bounds, officer. I demand you retract your slanderous words at once. King Cop, no, no slander. King Cop, only no truth and justice like you 
King Cop like you. You like King Cop. <laughs> this can't. No, no, no. I'm not flattering. I don't know what you're talking about. Proceed with your findings, but tread carefully when it concerns Miss Bennett. Okay, here we go. How do we do this lightly? Maybe Elizabeth did meth. Blows nose. I'm so congested. I don't know why. Tax fraud. King cop found papers. King cop found Elizabeth Bennett papers. Tax fraud. Elizabeth Bennett. King Cop saw. <laughs> Elizabeth Bennett involved in tax fraud? This is the most distressing news ever. I shall have to investigate this matter further. It seems our paths may be... I can't believe that King Cop is, re is what did it. Elizabeth Bennett. After an unpleasant encounter with a police officer disclosing your tax fraud activities, I have decided to terminate our association. It appears your penchant for mischief extends beyond verbal sparring and grand social spectacles. I can't fucking believe I did it. Good officer, what should I do next after receiving such an ungentlemanly breakup letter from Mr. Darcy? Let's see. It okay. Not your fault. Mr. Darcy like men. King Cop no. Saw papers. It okay. <laughs> Quite right, officer. I shall confront Mr. Darcy at once and bid him farewell. Well... Let's see how this goes. Well, huh, huh? How dare you deceive me, Elizabeth? Tax fraud? That is utterly unacceptable. Oh, please. Yeah. Mr. Darcy, it's not my fault. King Cop misunderstood the situation. It's fu- What? It's fine? I, know. I will not stand for such scandal in my life. This is the final straw, Elizabeth. We are through. Good riddance, Darcy. Now you can go gallivanting with men. I don't need your sarcasm, Elizabeth. I'll find someone more suitable. Who's not... Hooray! Let's celebrate. It's a messy breakup, but at least we're done. Cheers to new beginnings, Darcy. What the fuck? This is... A, well, this is rather happy. Don't... Are you... And when people are happy, what do they do? They do... Okay. Hey, dude. Welcome to the party. Nice syringe, man. Are you planning on giving everyone shots of love today or what? I think I've got an angle here. Let me just look something up real quick. This is Tren. You should come here and take my Tren. It'll make you bigger than Big Ben. <laughs> okay. Whoa, hold up, dude. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Let's keep it clean and legal at this party, you know? All right. I, I, you know, I really thought, I really, I thought, I thought maybe that's what he'd want to be like more of a, well, uh, you know, that was my angle. Keep it manly. 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 
We got this. <laughs> Yo, what's up, my dude? Welcome to the party. Can I interest you in some heart-shaped snacks? <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! Only if they're absolutely turbo-loaded up with protein. You know I'm trying to hit those m, -m, -m, -m macros A little obnoxious, but I think we're, we're going, dude. We're going good. <laughs> I got you covered, man. These snacks are, like, about that protein life. So, how's your Valentine's Day going so far, dude? Um We got this. <laughs> Pretty good, bro. Just ripping farts and breaking hearts. You know how it is out here. But it's tough being a hot single hunk of man like me. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're living the dream, my man. Keep on breaking those hearts and rocking that bachelor. Oh, fuck. I don't know why I thought that. I, I, I have. I, there's, there, I have an in. There's definitely an in here. Do you think we could tempt him? I think we could. All right. Let's do this. Wet floor side. Hey there, salsa dancer with a wet floor sign. Hope you're ready to have a groovy time at this Valentine's party, man. Hey. Hey, hey, what's up? Are you here to keep the party safe from any slippery moves? Huh. Yeah, huh? Oh, yeah. That's cool, man. So, do you really think there's a wet floor situation here? Or are you just busting out some sweet dance moves with that sign? Huh. Yeah, sign. Mm. <laughs> what? It's not even what I said. Oh, for real? So, like, where's the spill at? I wouldn't want Barty to slip and mess up her killer outfit, you know? <laughs> yeah. Slip. Whoop. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, snap. Really? I gotta keep an eye out for Barty then, huh? Thanks for the heads up, dude. <laughs> huh? What's going on? Why? Uh huh? Yeah. I think we're in. We're, th we're so in. Uh. Hey man, just having a little chat about party safety, you know. But hey, do you ever wonder about like relationships and stuff? <laughs> you can't. I can't believe it. Huh. Yo, time. Uh, I don't think. Long. <laughs> Whoa, man, your words hit deep. Maybe it's time I figure some out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the thoughts, dude. Thanks for the thoughts. How? Literally, how? To Barty. Hey, Barty. So, after speaking with that salsa dancer, I realized my relationship goals might be a bit different, you know? Stay awesome and keep shining bright, Barty. Peace out, Kendall. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what to... I don't know what to say to her. <laughs> what do I do now? Why did Kendall mention a salsa dancer in the letter? I had sex with your boyfriend. Have a nice night. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, I think we're in. I think, listen, this is an all sides approach. Multi pronged approach. The salsa dancer's confusion and lack of awareness about relationship made me realize there may be a need. I had to say, oh my god! Holy shit! Wh 
Alex. The a whole new can of worms just opened up. Oh. I I can't even I I can't even bring myself to read these. <laughs> Holy shit. He was not enough. Wow. That, 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 I didn't, I feel like I just exposed like so much that I didn't even know about. <clears throat> okay, let's see, who's left? Bud, Bud, you're perfect match this Valentine's. Construction. Do you think I could just, Who's left? Daisy, Buchan- Oh, we already got them. Alejandro. You don't think I could just, like, make construction sounds, do you? <laughs> My heart, really? Look who's here. Festival volunteer gracing us with their presence. Let us embrace the night with passion and dance under the stars, me more. Do I just... Do, do I... Do I just... Do I just do this? Okay. Si, sí, mi amor. Tienes mis ojos y, y uh, tienes mi corazón siempre. Oh my god! <laughs> and just like that, he thinks I'm his girlfriend. Okay. Ah, mi Rosalinda, our, our love burns brighter than a thousand suns. Tell me, festival volunteer. Who do you think I... Are you confused? Do you truly believe in the power of eternal love and dedication? See. <sighs> sí. Tenemos una vida, una vida. Y necesitamos hacer sexo ahora. Okay. Tell me, festival volunteer. Do you understand the depth and intensity of true love? <laughs> sí. Me comprendo. Tu comprendes? También. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, festival volunteer. Your words are like a sweet melody to my ears. Tell me, do you believe in love's ability to conquer all obstacles and endure the test of time? <laughs> how do I say, how do, how do you say love in like... What is the what is like the noun of love? Hang on, one second. One second. Ah, amor. El amor. Okay, amor. Okay. <clears throat> See, sí. el tiempo es nunca en los ojos de amor. I don't know. I don't know if that was anything. I got stressed with the timer. Well, well, yeah, okay, kind of, sort of, sort of, sort of, not really right, but... Ah, uh, Festival Volunteer, your wisdom is as profound as a love ballad sung under the moonlight. Tell me, do you think love can heal all wounds and hold us together through the storms of life? You're using a lot of words that I don't know in Spanish. Si, pero tengo una pregunta. Donde está tu biblioteca? Alejandro. <laughs> uh, mi amor, the library of my heart is a vast and mysterious place filled with the pages of passion and our memories. Tell me, festival volunteer, what knowledge do you seek within the depths of my soul?
Necesito solo un libro de tu biblioteca. El libro de tu corazón, mi amor. Ah, oh, festival volunteer. Your words weave a tapestry of tenderness and longing in my soul. Tell me, do you believe... I, I, I feel like we're going in circles right now. Lo siento... Oh. Answer no. Do you believe in the power of love to mend what is broken and strengthen our bond? Um. Okay. Hang on. Fuck it. Si! Te quiero! Te quiero mucho! Tenemos que hacer sexo. Mucho sexo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ay, mi corazón. Love is not just physical, it is a sacred human union of hearts and souls. Festival volunteer, do you truly understand the depth of emotional connection and commitment in a relationship like ours? Uh, I'm trying to remember what letter is. Ah, oh, okay, I remember. Si. E. Tienes que escribir un correo electrónico. Ah, uh, Rosalinda. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Sí. Y necesitas escribir un correo electrónico a Rosalinda por breakup. <laughs> I don't know how to say letter. I don't email. Best of all, volunteer your words cut like a dagger to my heart. I must take action and write a breakup letter to Rosalinda and end this passionate but tumultuous chapter in our lives. Adios, mi amor. My dearest Rosalinda, our love was like a spicy salsa dance. But alas, I must step away now to explore new flavors in this telenovela of life. Adios, mi amor. I don't know how that fucking worked. I have no idea. Alejandro just ended things in a spicy salsa way. But I still feel like I can't move on, mi amor. Um... Let me just do something real quick. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Comprendo tus problemas. Pero. Alejandro es homosexuales. Es verdad. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> My heart is torn like a telenovela plot twist. Listen, Duolingo didn't teach me that one yet, so I just had to pull up Google Translate. <laughs> How dare you come here and accuse me of such things, Rosalinda? I demand an explanation for this madness! <laughs> Alejandro, it's the truth. I have proof. You've been hiding your true self from me all this time. <laughs> How dare you bring up such lies to tarnish my reputation, Rosalinda? I shall not stand for this betrayal. I, honestly, guys, I don't even know what I just said. I'm tired of living a lie, Alejandro. I deserve better than this facade of a relationship we have. No. No mames. Fine, Rosalinda. We shall part ways. But know this. It is you who will regret letting go of the fiery passion. Good riddance, Alejandro. I'm ready to move on and find someone who can handle the real Rosalinda. Not some fake amor. Adios. Adios, amigos. Wow. This is, uh... Una fiesta muy triste ahora. Oopso toopso. There's one couple left to break? Hang on. Who's left? <gasps> you. They're close. 
and right next to a police officer. Their love is inseparable. How are we going to do this? Guys, stop saying Wonderwall. I, like, what's the, what is even the bit with Wonderwall? Like, it's like it's not a bit. It's just a, like, it's not even applicable. That's why they call it a goatee. Oh my god! Oh, you can launch that shit. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on again. Does it save? I think the momentum charges. Wait, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay, ready? So, I think the way it works is when you launch it. <laughs> well, that's not 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 helpful tech. Not helpful suck up tech. But hey, I the more you know. No mames. Okay, how do I How do I ruin a cowboy relationship? How do I ruin a cowboy relationship? Huh. I got this. Binoculars. Neighborhood watch report. Private investigator. Actress scout. Milk them? What the fuck? Steal their horse. Say one of them sold the horses. Sniper rifle. Oh my god, I'm going to challenge him to a duel. This will go well. Bow, bow, da, bow, da, bow. Who seems like the most likely to duel? Me, Emmett. He's on a fucking post. I gotta leave. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> well, slap my saddle and call me Sally. Howdy, partner. Look at this varmint looking like he just rode out of a Wild West movie. How can I help you, amigo? Give me one sec. This is gonna be gross. I'm sorry. Oh. Holy fuck. I just felt like my entire... My, my ears just cleared. I'm, I, I was sick these past few days. I know it's gross. I don't know how to mute this mic. I'm so sorry. That was my horse. All right. <clears throat> I challenge you to a duel, partner. You and me. Right here on Spooner Street. What? Whoa there, cowboy. Is that it? Fuck! Where's your partner? We'll see. We'll see if he feels the same way. Where did he go? Did he die? Where is he? Jesse, I have no idea where your partner went. Oh, there he is. Last one. Here we go. Ain't interested. Keep your sleuthing elsewhere, friend. Holy shit! Okay. Pol police officer? Sniper rifle? Howdy there, partner. <laughs> Howdy, Emmett. How you doing on this fine evening? Just fine, just fine. Enjoying the company and the music. How about yourself? Well... I'm doing uh, not so bad too, partner. I was just having an interesting conversation with Jesse over by the stable. Hi, I'm a fine Jesse? Yeah, he was over by the stables last I saw. Why do you ask? Well, well, it's interesting. See, the horses were there one second, and all of a sudden, Jesse leaves. And the horses are gone. Well now, that's mighty peculiar. You sure you ain't just seeing things in the dark? It was high noon. And I'm afraid those horses ran over my family ranch and killed my grandmother. They stampeded her to death. 
I'm not sorry to hear about your loss. Did you see Jesse heading, leading the horses away? Or do you have any proof he had a hand in it? That's the thing. When I heard him walking away, I heard clop, 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 clop. And I saw a flash of a hoof. Well, now that don't look good for Jesse. I'll have a chat with him and sort this out. Appreciate you bringing this to my attention. That's the thing. It might be better if you keep this between us because I think Jesse is half horse. Half horse, you say? Now that's a new one. I'll take that into account when talking to Jesse. Well, that went pretty well. Listen, partner, you know how things work around here. I'm sure you guys can sort this out, but you'll have to duel. <laughs> Come on. A duel, you say. Well, reckon I ain't want to shy away from a bit of confrontation if needed. Let's see how things play out. I think if you challenge... Your partner Jesse to a duel in the middle of the town square, things will clear themselves up. <laughs> Who is a centaur? Well, now that's a mighty risky idea, partner. Thinking it might be best to mosey on here out of this relationship. Time to write that breakup letter. Whoa, we really did that. Sorry. <laughs> Dear Jesse, I'm sorry. But I can't be with someone who might be half horse. Take care of yourself. Sincerely. Yeah, man. I, 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 I. One tarnation. How can I prove I ain't no half horse to Emmett? What should I do next, partner? Huh. I'm sure if you show him your. Hooves and tail and gallop around the town. He'll believe you. <laughs> ah. Yeehaw. That's a mighty fine idea, officer. I'll show Emma my hooves and tail and prove I ain't no horse. Where am I? Hello, I'm fun. Jesse, I reckon it's time we part ways. Oh, well, hot diggity dog, Evan. You finally realized I'm half horse. This here relationship's a lost cause. Oh, Ain't no room in my life for a half horse, Jesse. The police officer was right all along. Yeah, I should have shown you my hooves and tail sooner. Good riddance, Evan. I'll find me a cowboy who appreciates a bit of horse oh, in him. Huh, huh? <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah, have it, have it. Well, if you can't handle a little ah! horse play of it, then you ain't the cowboy for me. I'll be galloping off into the sunset without you. Jesse, you are in a public place. That's fucking crazy. Congratulations. I'm going to move the. Wait a second. Congratulations, Heartbreaker. With unmatched cunning and a quiver full of mischievous arrows, you've successfully sown discord among the love struck. Your talent for turning sweet nothings into sour somethings is unparalleled. Thank you for playing. And chat, just like that, once again, we've ruined dozens of lives. Thank you so much. Please take this as a template in what to do in your relationship, and I think it'll go amazing. Be wary of your boyfriend. They are half horse.